This is the Benjamin Zulu Global. Benjamin talks about how your healing will offend your abuser. It will not be business as usual. Healing yourself will always be offensive to the people who benefited from your brokenness. Let's say you had a deep fear of being alone, for instance, and someone wrote on that to stay in your life like a parasite while adding nothing to you. And then you start gaining understanding and working on your fears. Do you think they will cheer you on? Of course not. They can sense their charms falling off and their position in your life expiring mm, mm. that gives me mm. it's so good that is so good a lot of times we think the person we are with wants better for us mm. but they are in your life because you are broken there are gaps in your growth they're just plugging a gap yes they, 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 they are conscious that it's not a healthy arrangement that keeps them relevant to you mm. That there's a weakness that keeps overwhelming you and that's where they come in. Mm. You keep begging, please, I can't be alone. I can't be without you. You are the only one who understands me. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you, 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 you keep breaking down for them to stay and they know that's exactly, it's the unconsciousness, you know, that you're not whole. Is that the recurrent ex? You know, the, the relationship that you part with, but he knows... On Friday. <laughs> Friday is your weak spot. Exactly. The lonely time. Yeah. And the sequel to the healing book, we are structuring it around, and, and, and also the toxic, we, we are around how to live now that you are whole. Mm -hmm. Many people have worked, dig, dig, <coughs> they dug in, processed. But because that area remains vulnerable. Mm. The same person, even after you have worked, gone, gone, even you could be married, you could have another life, you could be in a different place. The same person keeps, brings the trigger. Mm. This is a living trigger that has an, yeah. an agenda. <laughs> Forget alcohol now. So <laughs> you must take yourself to where it is. This is a living alcohol. Yes. <laughs> that knows how to bring it here. <laughs> mm. You block the number on your phone. It's on your head. <laughs> <laughs> They know how to go around. The last time I dated, I, the first time I dated, I got entangled like that. Because yes. I crammed the knife. <laughs> yeah. But the last time, any other time after that, I don't no look at the number. <laughs> <laughs> I don't look at the number. I just speak the call. <laughs> and so, <laughs> these people know how to go around. Yeah. Where your wall is broken. Mm. The day you decide, let me get better. So they oppose you going to the rapid. They even despise trash talk. You have not met women who insult you and you try to say you're going to cancel. What kind of man are you? Sort your issues. There is no counselor who knows our marriage. Nobody knows. I only ask. And it's a guy who is coming up with it because I don't know who is saying men don't know the rapid. We are waking up in such large numbers, you'll be surprised. Yeah. And <laughs> my mm -hmm. team was asking why men prefer collecting books. Mm -hmm. Even when they are around, they say, let me pass by and just pick. <laughs> And they tell them mm -hmm. there's something about the privacy of just him doing oh. his thing quietly. Really? He just moved, picked, gone. So this thing of puzzle, something at the gate, somebody's holding you, here there's your puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> I had to have never guessed. So most of your male buyers, yeah, they just, just collect. Uh, how do you know that? Let me drop by, man. Really? He picks, goes. <laughs> so low key, ah. low key, low key, low key. You don't know what he's carrying. You don't know what I'm saying. You're reading it. <laughs> and the, the pattern was so consistent. Yeah. It was troubling. <laughs> <laughs> you know, of course, those who are far, they'll be very happy, as you said. Yeah. And, but many of them were close, they're saying, let me drop by. Mm. Only it is, even the price of his moving is more expensive. That, 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 <laughs> the courier. <laughs> A lot of men are just low key. <clears throat> they are there, but you don't hear them. But they are taking in everything. They are measuring. They are absorbing. And they, they, there is a privacy. They just exist in. You know? Yeah. There's the, the lion kind of a thing. You know, lions are just chills in his cave. Yeah. Quietly. Mm. And no noise. So a lot of men, healthy men, that's how they operate. Just move.
I had a mentor like that who used to move like a shadow. How <laughs> now? He had no secret life or anything. He was just not loud. Oh. To this day, he's not on social media. <laughs> I think just LinkedIn, the professional ones. Yeah. <laughs> he's just. Uh, oh. <laughs> generations also matter. He okay. comes from another generation. Yeah. But very successful man who is very low key. Oh. And you won't know he passes, he just moved. <laughs> What's his name? We stalk him. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> so, because I'm very myself public, public teacher. Yes. The lessons I learned from him really save, it's a life saving. Because it's a temptation when you when you when you are in these screens, not to know where the boundaries are, mm. and and you get carried in the hype. You're very private. Then you bring cameras to when you're eating food, when you're cooking dinner, I when know. you're sleeping, when so your whole life is public. Yeah. You become a monkey for entertainment. Mm. No, that food today was not. That, that was too quick. <laughs> that was that, that that bad. Can, can mm. you change your mattress? <laughs> 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 so yeah. we, 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 we sometimes don't know where to put the demarcation. Mm. These people who feel disturbed, they trash talk, counseling, health, books, psychological materials. It's not because they are self-sufficient. Mm -hmm. They know once you wake up, they'll be irrelevant. One way to learn who is good for you is when you find what wakes you up. What, and, you know, truth feels, truth feels good. Yes. Liberating. Yes. You can it resonates mm. to freeing mm. but a person reacts like you have attacked them mm. that's one way you know people are keeping you broken how you just state something like the statement you've read uh-huh yes you, you you're quoting things from the book and posting oh. in your status and posting wherever then they're getting upset yes are you targeting me this this is passive aggressive hey you did not even address them yeah. You just read a message that talks about how to become yourself, how to keep growing up. It did not involve anybody else. Out they already attacked. They can see you are cl closing in on truth. Yeah. And because they, they, they are not legit in your life. Mm. They are illegitimately in your life. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they will feel loss mm. when their fool is getting educated. One so pink flag for me like almost <laughs> red yes when a guy approaches me mm. and discovers that i i'm a fan of benjamin zulu i'm a fan yeah and he doesn't like you mm. then i know there's something you're saying that is antagonizing him i, I do I, I do you know the funny thing is <coughs> i may be a, a, a great fan of dr myers monroe mm -hmm. for example that was one of my favorite teachers mm -hmm. when i was dating yeah because i know teachers are personalities yes my wife may not be a fan of dr myers monroe uh -huh. but she will be a fan of other teachers of that kind yes yes you get yes so it's not an individual who expected to be following yes is that school of thought Exactly. <laughs> that school of thought that this person stands for. Yeah. So when I checked a few people, we happened to be overlapping, actually, the actual uh, teachers, all right. which is a happy coincidence. Yes. <laughs> yes. You know, and others I did not know of, others I did not know, mm. but they have the same school of thought, mm. just different personalities. Yeah. And, and many of them should be listening to people of previous generations. Mm. She's listening to Martin Luther King Jr. You are, which name is that? Oh, this is Martin Luther. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yes, you know, yes. and, and, and I'm saying, yeah, but the, the, I, what you're saying is one thing. When a person is antagonistic to the school of thought that informs your life, and you think this is just healthy and exactly. plain, even if you don't like this personality, yes, yes, <laughs> the the message of this kind. Which teachers do you like of that kind? Exactly. Personalities are different. You may not click with how I talk. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but you <laughs> dramatic. <laughs> but when you I also don't drama. click uh, with all teachers. Yes. yes. <laughs> but there are some books people praise so much. They mm. call them classic. When you hold it, you don't feel it. Mm. Some movies everybody's watching. You try to watch it, you sleep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just the taste of it, yeah. the vibe of it that doesn't click with you. Uh. But you finally get another movie on the same theme. And mm. that is less famous, mm. but you click. I hear you. So it is music, it is teachers, it is artists, it is the concept is a school of thought, not that particular teacher. Right. So yes, so if a person is antagonistic to your awakening, mm. they are an agent of you remaining unawakened. That's from 
how to recognize and deal with toxic relationships that's one of the books by benjamin he's got three other books find out more about them on his website benjaminzuluglobal.com and also get your ticket for the grow your love and your money conference which is going to be on 11th november 2023 at the utali hotel 10 a.m bright and early will be there we are going to learn, we are going to network, there's going to be a live Q&A. And even if you're outside of the country and far away and still want to join us, find out how you can join us virtually through Benjamin's website. That said, today's topic is one of the ones I call beetroot juice. <laughs> don't, I don't want it, but it's important. Yes. So you want to tell us about how to know that he lost interest in me. <laughs> We are yes. here relating, but he's... He and I want talk. to spare you from asking, where are we? What are we? <laughs> Why is this going? <laughs> you don't want me to ask? No. I want to show you how to maintain your dignity as a woman, even when um, the, uh, the brothers are fluctuating. Remember? <laughs> I want that. I want that, yeah. Remember even a brother who will eventually marry you can fluctuate. They frequently fluctuate. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Because of the struggle men go through when they are genuinely falling in love. <laughs> Remember when babies are falling asleep, they fear and they start crying. They feel like they're losing control. Yeah. There's something about that with the men when they're falling in love. They fear <laughs> that they're losing control. And they try to they wake fight. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wake up, wake up, wake up. Don't sleep. Don't fall. <laughs> so so yeah. the child does not learn surrender. They think mm. once they go, they are gone. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying, mom. I'm dying. No, you're not dying. <laughs> okay, <laughs> just blow. <laughs> You'll be back. <laughs> so sometimes, am I dying? <laughs> no, you're not dying. <laughs> just blow. <laughs> so, a very quick one for yes. you. Did you have that struggle, or were you healed and awakened by the time you? No, I struggled with it. I did not know. It feels like fear. Love feels like fear for man. Really? <laughs> she has so much control over my feeling. Now I'm waiting for a text here. Oh my God, I'm ashamed. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good to hear. <laughs> That's entertaining. Why would I wait for a message, honestly? And I can't even focus. I'm offline, looking. When somebody vibrates, <laughs> you are so alert. You have not been this alert. You have been always half absent, half present, <laughs> and concerned. <laughs> People have to really kick you to get your response. Here you are. Here you even wake up ahead of everyone to check whether there's a message. And you have been such a heavy sleep. Sleep like a log. <laughs> even alarms, you fight to them seven times. But here you are. People hear you pressing your phone inside the blanket. Who is that? <laughs> Who is that chat inside the blanket? <laughs> And the brother is cleaned up and dressed up by 6 a.m. before dawn is gone. Because they're meeting in town with the like, Oh my god, whoever I came should stay. This guy is back alive. We have not assumed this. <laughs> oh my goodness. So it feels like fear. There's a sense of falling in love that is caring to men. All right. And many of them have never learned that place of trust will avoid love for life. Oh, oh. We did a whole show why men don't fall in love. Mm. Men walk. <laughs> <laughs> Cautiously. Imagine a very cold swimming pool. <laughs> that would be a <laughs> yeah. Slowly. Other guys can dive. Okay, good for you. Yeah. <laughs> dive as uh, some sorting. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. <laughs> but I'd rather be cautious. Mm. <laughs> so, the first sign that he had loved you today, we are, I'm giving you the context mm -hmm. on when he's such coming, when he's entering your life initially. When you had started going and uh, there was a light at the end of the tunnel, they need to switch it off. <laughs> yeah. What was that? What was that? It was a passing train. <laughs> and then lastly, I'll give you a context where you were already a unit. You already married. Okay. Sawa. Mm -hmm. The first sign when he was coming to your life and he has shown no interest, the first sign is when, it, when he changes from vibrance and excitement to ambivalence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When he was all into you, calling consistently, talking, and then suddenly the calls are fewer, shorter, the excitement is less. And you'd already caught on to the, the, the rhythm and you are falling in love. Mm. You know, the women warm up slowly like the iron box. <laughs> <laughs> Men are switching on like the light. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. And there's a switch of, hey, it's dark again. <laughs> this gender. 
carry. <laughs> so, uh-huh. can keep you on the edge. Will it go? <laughs> Any minute. <laughs> you know? Like the coming of Christ. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So, the one sign, when you see him changing from excitement to ambivalence, that's one sign he's losing interest. And you shall know it's not just a struggle he's having pri- um, privately because he's consistent. When a man still loves you but he's afraid of what is happening, he thinks he's losing control. He feels like you might abuse it. One reason you fear fall in love because you're handing away power. Mm. Uh, you can deflate my energy by just delaying a reply. You know, that's too much power. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but just replying is okay. You know, some okay is very dry. Yeah, and the normal transactions, okay is okay. Yeah, but in love, okay is not. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he's not. Okay. <laughs> yeah, not in a love relationship. And now you have thrown the brother off with such a simple message. Now he's tormented until lunch hour. <laughs> fearful yeah <laughs> and now he doesn't want to show you so he's going to have to act like it's something else. yeah so there's a whole school of thought now telling men how to defend that by by denying the interest and acting like they're not interested oh. to make you chase yourself and 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 I, I tell them this is good for initial superficial things but we can't build life with the pretenses mm. at some point you're going to be honest and show her how she matters to you. Mm. The, 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 the thing with men is to choose the right woman. When you fall that way for Adelaila, exactly. you'll be sold. Yeah. <laughs> because she does not fall for you. So she just is a resource. Mm. <laughs> it's, it's something she can sell. Mm. So we are saying, when you see ambivalence, don't start fighting. What changed now? What happened? The reason is really because he has learned you closer and he discovered you're not exactly it. When a man is walking away, he's doing you a favor even if he's uncomfortable. Mm. Surely he should have told you why there is a change, but a lot of them can't handle that kind of conversation. They don't have the emotional maturity to give you closure. Mm. Sometimes you're going to hand yourself the closure by watching the behavior. The behavior is enough message. Mm. It's enough message. But because you are used to waking up to his messages, you 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 you, you tell each other good night on a conversation of two hours. <laughs> yeah. Well, stop judging. <laughs> <laughs> don't judge. <laughs> It was supposed to be a good night. Yes. And has gone for? Two hours. <laughs> and there's like ten good nights in there. Oh, right, good night. Oh, by the way. <laughs> now, that. Yeah. <laughs> Let me warn women to stop taking the long conversations, the laughter, the giggly, the in-jokes, the flowing, the excitement. To me, now we are committed. Really? Yes, stop it. We are not? No. <laughs> many of them many of you are going with that oh ma then you're left with an afterglow out of the conversation you mm-hmm. even sleep with smile exactly <laughs> that's us you're right to us <laughs> that's us <laughs> you meet Lily on cloud nine hey Lily oh I'm fine how are you guys doing <laughs> that week I'm going to be so productive <laughs> you know I'll get away <laughs> uh-huh we, 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 and then after all that then he's fizzling yeah hoping you have the discipline to keep the marriage package uncontaminated mm-hmm. if a man withdraws and he has not slept with you because mm-hmm. after you mix in sex guilt comes in shame comes in many people had committed to a certain thing and if you if you help them in falling after they wake up they'll, 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 they'll be very ambivalent about you mm-hmm. very, even if it was a, a Imagine it was a viable connection mm. and you contaminate it by allowing things. Sometimes men can marry you because you don't allow them to misbehave. Mm. Ultimately, a healthy man wants to marry a woman who gives, who challenges him to be his best. Mm. Seems contradictory because if you want to behave, why can't you behave? Why do I have exactly. to? Why, 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 why are you testing the boundaries? And it is contradictory because if he tests the boundaries just to find out, I will pull back yes and they usually don't test they mm-hmm. poke okay okay if there's a you don't break the law you bend the law you remember that concept oh. <laughs> <laughs> so they don't come directly let's do it <laughs> it's a video that would have if you allowed it, it would have gone on yes for men that's unconscious mm. men need sex physically so much that he can even lose himself when he's in your presence when he's in love with you that's why the permitting of it always is with a woman. 
Because the brother can lose himself in the charms of this woman he has built in his head. She is all this. True. And then you are here in flesh and blood. That sounds unfair. It, it may be, maybe, but <laughs> <laughs> did coach just agree that it it's may be. Men, men are so physically drawn away that, in fact, if you wanted to sleep with a man who was not planning on it, you can do it. And women know that. Yes. You can get him excited, mm. and you can get carried away. Mm. Actually, many men's defenses are location oriented. To oh. avoid falling, you just avoid those environments that are too. Too suggestive. Yeah. Does not mean you can't hold yourself. Yes. It's just harder. When the woman you love her and she's in for that, yes. it's very difficult. Mm. A, a woman who you have no feelings for can just show you her body. And mm. because of the season you are in, you start struggling. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dangling carrot and carry you very far. <clears throat> yeah. Very far. Mm. We are not excusing it. There's a place for self control. Mm. But you're saying when it comes to the physiology of sex and men, they are manipulatable. And sometimes when we know the woman has boundaries that she doesn't negotiate with, it's very assuring All right. that even with other men, she can't go there first of all. Mm. Number two, this is the, not the kind of woman who will allow you to keep compromising on the standards that hold your life together. Mm. It's very important to marry that kind of a watcher. That woman becomes a watcher. She holds you to a certain standard. Mm. She expects you to behave a certain way. And you behave it because you need her. Mm. And you enjoy when you are at your best self. Mm. When the man is disciplined, he's very happy. He's very balanced. Mm. When he keeps dropping the ball, he's guilty, struggling, condemning, self-ashamed. That's not mm. what he wants. Mm. When you see changing from excitement and all that conversation, giggly, da, 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 to ish, ish, accept it. You're struggling to accept and you want him to explain. Yeah. He also can't explain what excitement. You, you are not all that. Can you tell him you are really, not all that? <laughs> Do you want to hear that? Do, are you sure? <laughs> so, <laughs> w wouldn't it give me closure if I hear it, even if it's difficult to hear? Hear it for yourself, then go and write. <laughs> write to myself. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's too cruel for gentlemen. <laughs> okay. So, whenever you see that, always accept it. Mm. If he's struggling and he's, he's just falling in love and he loves you, mm. it's really like a day. The mm. next day he's back. He studied the energy was not exactly correct. He blames him for the job. <laughs> Tomorrow is fully on you. <laughs> okay. Just a day or two. Uh, yeah. Okay. But not total absence of ghosting. Yeah. No, you just, Distance. you notice a struggle. All right. Not long. He avoids the long conversation, although the vibe is still the same. Right. He, he avoids picking you again, although you've been picking each other. Yeah. And at work, he's avoidant. I want to keep company like he has been doing. Mm. But I discourage you from dating at work because when it breaks up, you might also have to break up the work. <laughs> or explain to envious <laughs> onlookers. <laughs> the second one is a mischievous one, is when he, st he stops treating you as a treasure and starts seeing you as a resource. You started well, you fell in love. This one you're already journeying, this one you're already going. And suddenly it starts withdrawing from you. Mm. With, I mean, getting stuff. Because you thought we were already together. Now he can ask for loan, he can ask for the support, pay for this, pay for the other one. He has stopped investing. And because there's already an arrangement going on of trust, he starts exploiting. Oh. Many people, instead of just chucking up, mm. they start enriching themselves with you. Allah. So... You are, you are living a principled life where you are not giving each other loans or money or in yeah. messing up sexually. So they are putting it as a, it's a, it's a conditioner. Get mm. my child first. If you don't get this. Mm. The people who know when you have their child, they will control your life for many years and you are a resourceful person. Remember the concept of a resourceful fool? Whoa. <laughs> you are so resourceful but you are unenlightened. You are not aware that you are resourceful. That sounds like an oxymoron. Yes. Mm -hmm. You work hard, you have money, you are sincere, <clears throat> you show up, you keep your word, you care. You understand? Mm -hmm. But you are so blind to manipulation mm -hmm. that you cooperate with exploitation for so long. Yeah. How many people like that do you know now? It's too many. <laughs> Especially in these uh, exploitative churches. Yes. Yeah. yes. The person is so sincere and loyal but they're sincere to the wrong person. And you know, the ones that have very good paying jobs or businesses, they're given the front seat, they are flowered and decorated yes. and they keep being manipulated. Yes. Mm. 
and, and, and I, ho I hope now you see mm. that you can be very resourceful but yes. very unwise. Yes, yes, I see it. And so as you gather, others scatter. Yes. You end up empty. Mm. So if, you, if, 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 if you're with a man who knows, you're admired. You are, you know, even those who don't love you can see your worth. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yes. Even yeah, those who don't want to marry you yes. can see how you're put together. Mm. Many of them actually, especially the selfish narcissistic, they enter your life precisely because of that. Mm. You look so resourceful but so unaware. You could have a, 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 a knowing, a troubling, a biting loss of esteem, a father wound. And because many of us are ignorant about psychological wounds, mm. we minimize them, deny mm. them, mm. suppress them. Mm. And other people can see, whenever you're given a compliment, you melt. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. You should accept compliments, but yes. they should not melt you. Don't melt. And when people see the melting, they throw another one. They see there's a soft spot there. After the melt, I can go in. Allah. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. People notice that you can't resist a small act of affection. Even when it was just courtesy. For you, it's romantic. He pulls a chair, pours coffee, compliments you, and holds the door, mm. and listens to you, notices yesterday you, did, you are not okay, mm. and now you are telling the stories of your life. <laughs> <laughs> I've melted. Kaput. You know? Oh my goodness. He was not intended. He was so surprised. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know? How can you understand me so much? Imagine. Now you are all here. How to I get you. One time I, I, I provided a listening phone call to someone <laughs> and they vented for three hours. And they decided you are the most lovely ladies I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to end it, but no, the stories are so deep. Okay, you are so, nobody has ever listened. Oh my God, you are, you are, you are so your, empathetic. Uh, no empathy. I was just busy. I, I just realized you are you are collapsing. <laughs> I mean, I, I was going for thirty minutes. Uh, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you see, I see. <laughs> they were all bubbling. They don't know things like therapists. They wouldn't call up counselors. Do you know on your phone you can just type a counselor and get it? I know. Yes. You can book a counselor literally the next three minutes. Yes. <laughs> but you don't do it. We look for a Lily who was minding her own business. <laughs> If we are friends with whom we are sharing life, it's okay. Yes. But you are saying some people, post this for me. I'll follow in the comments. My friend, you need a psychological solution, not public opinion. Yes. Don't come to insult my space. <laughs> <laughs> but those things give you guys followers. I mean, I no, mean, I keep telling them, no, I'm not a blogger, please. <laughs> I'm, I'm a professional life coach. <laughs> You're looking that. for bloggers. <laughs> go, go, keep, keep searching. And if you bring this nonsense here again, I'll block you because you are abusing my profession. You'd rather go to public opinion, conducting opinion for how to lead your life than to pay a therapist? Oh. Don't insult me. It's like going to a doctor. Go to your social media and post for me. What? Then somebody has headache and what? Doctor, medical doctor, now you're telling him to post on your wall. I see. I get you. It's an insult. I get you. I get you. You come here to gaslight my profession. How useless I am. You'd rather I help you conduct opinion on the street. I get you, Benjamin. <laughs> we get you. We get you. We get you. So, we are saying sometimes your yawning neediness is visible. Mm. But you're also a hard working person. You're a conditioned beast of burden. You know, your family sometimes conditions you yeah. to become a beast of burden. Yes. You're educating everybody, even yeah. facilitating your parents and doing everything. Out here, we can see you're breaking down. With, you're always on the edge of nervous breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But you keep, you know, people are yawning daytime, mm. even eating, they're eating like they're afflicted. You know, <laughs> they enjoy a beer. <laughs> okay, on the run. <laughs> Thank you. It's your choice of words. Afflicted. <laughs> you can see. You can see. <laughs> even when you greet them, they greet with a tilted head. <laughs> good, mor good morning to you. <laughs> they're afflicted. <laughs> By the trap <laughs> of this world. Beast of burden. Oi. And now the world realizes after you have finished, you know, you can uh, win away after now. They are grown and gone. But you are still operating the same energy of sacrificing yourself for other oh. people. Very resourceful, very unaware. Mm. Try to tell that woman, particularly women, 
Mm. Why don't you mind seeing your cancer? No, I'm okay. You know, the past is the past. Forget about it. Mm. This is your third lover to swindle you. <laughs> You're very okay. Congratulations. So <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Mm. We, we, we associate. Is it with. I don't know what, where this foolishness comes from. Mm. You keep repeating the same things and hoping for different results. Mm. The last one is what you don't expect. When you see more of his hand than his heart. Mm -hmm. When men begin to pull away, sometimes they send more of their money. You see the money, not a man. Mm. This is unfortunately when you have already gotten into marriage, mm. when you're already into something, mm. and they start providing instead of being present. Mm. So they replace they represent they replace their presence with the present. Oh, the presence with presence. Wow, that's good. <laughs> you know, Very good they, 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 they pull back, but they leave you the stuff. Yes. You don't see the person, you see the persona. Hey, it's been that way. <laughs> okay. mm -hmm. <laughs> if you want to go mm -hmm. that way. And, yeah. and, and you can sense the drift, but society, where? You're being provided for. Right? <laughs> My friend, what don't you have? School fees, tick. Rent, tick, house, tick, uh, even a car, tick. But the man, X. Yeah. You know he's withdrawing away when he's giving you what is easier to give. Well, that's <laughs> very difficult. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You see his hand, not his heart. And you, 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 he, he becomes closed up. Mm. And he reduces the participation. Some of them don't even pay fully. They start asking for 50-50. Allah? Hmm. <laughs> he withdraws into, I don't have money. That chorus now becomes a chorus. I have no money. Allah? I have no money. And because you, 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 you are helpful, you are sincere, you don't want things to collapse, you start mm. paying the first few months, but they, they make that now the norm. Mm. You are the one who pays. Mm -hmm. Then they pay for the trash. The trash? Yeah, the garbage company, the 200 shillings. <laughs> <laughs> you are paying the 20,000. <laughs> In the name of 50-50? You know, they, they, some of them genuinely lose their job and all the, mm. the business gets troubled for two mm. months. Mm. You step in using your savings. Mm. Now they make the stepping in the new norm. Yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that. This person is withdrawing emotionally. The money is just a symptom of how they're pulling away. Really? Yes. It's not the money that's making him withdraw? No. Sincere men, when they just get trouble with the money, they involve you as their friend to brainstorm the situation. Mm. Honest, self-matured men don't leave their wives out in mm. any situation. They mm. think together. Mm. In any case, they are experienced now to know the wife's idea can save the situation. Mm. She can save the situation by just an idea. Mm. I had budgeted for all this thinking we need 100K. She's able to move buttons and we don't need 100, we need 34K. <laughs> <laughs> which we already have. Sometimes yes. she brings money or she removes the necessity for the money. Yes. The same effect. Yes. <laughs> you know, yes. for example, she knows what is still remaining. Mm. A very magical knowledge which I don't understand. <laughs> of, of, she knows, no. And she can tell when oil reduced too much. Mm. Cooking oil. In the jerry can. Mm. Who knows that? We know. <laughs> <laughs> we know. <laughs> you know. We do. No, yeah, well, you know it's oil reduced. <laughs> Okay, it is used, all right. Mm. And she will follow and realize the person maybe she's working with is as if yes. is talking her home, you see, your house. Yes. <laughs> yes. Very miraculous knowledge. It's miraculous. I, I can't keep that. <laughs> I don't know which man. Of say. course you can't, because you don't <laughs> interact with the kitchen things, but when you interact with them, you sort of know. Uh, some of us are very present. I'm very present with the things, because oh. I want to know what is running out to restock. Okay. But she can tell in the next so long, I will not need this much or we can... Oh. <laughs> you know? Okay. I would encourage brothers, providing is providing. It's not philosophical, it's practical. Mm. Uh, go where the food is. Stock what is needed. In mm. fact, that's one way to avoid surprises, eh? <laughs> Gas running out at the yeah. wrong hour. Yeah. And now there's an emergency. Yeah. Who said you can't bring another one? You can bring. Even if it's a small one. For it yes. to hold the space. Yes. <laughs> give you a week yes. <laughs> for the other one yes. when the man is ahead he's, when he's close he avoids those dangers we are saying when you sense a person leaving only giving the provision or just being dig deeper 
-hmm. The problem is loss of interest. And when people lose interest, but they want you to be married to the history, to the shell, mm -hmm. to the raw, mm -hmm. but not the person. Mm -hmm. Don't accept to be swindled. Many people have accepted to maintain a shell when they are alone there. Mm. It's an empty thing. Mm. Eventually, you start collapsing. Find yourself cheating, and you are never the type to cheat. People yeah. are even shocked. Yeah. And they get a chance now to gaslight rivers. Mm. Because they starved you until you are collapsing, then started yeah. saying because you're a bad person. Yeah. Don't accept to remain in a shell. Even if there are no chaos, the withdrawal of love and affection. Say, I was not signing up for brotherhood. Hey, <laughs> if I wanted a sibling, I would go all the way as marrying them. <laughs> <laughs> you just want a roommate. You just get a roommate. This is not marriage, you're withdrawn, and you know it. Yeah. Yes. Oh my goodness, you've withdrawn and you know it. Yes. First of all, even acknowledging to myself that this person knows what they're doing. Yes. Because sometimes we defend them to ourselves. No, they don't know. No, they're just distracted. Until you are shocked by the busy life they're conducting over there. Yeah. On the other side, they're very busy and alive. Here they are muted. They're ambiguous. <laughs> They come home to sleep. They are one word dancers. Mm. How are you? Fine. How was your day? Not bad. Oh my. <laughs> that was a good show. Um, maybe difficult to swallow, but honest, true, and it was a good show. Thank you for watching. See you on the next episode. Bye. This is the Benjamin Zulu Global. Welcome our viewers from all over the world to the home of the heart Marks. We're converging to learn together because when you know better, you can do better. And a better life is what we all want. Better work life, better family life, better personal life.